Hi guys, Myrtle here. Here in this video, we'll be checking out the newly onboarded blockchain-based MMORPG on the WeMix Play platform, The World of the Abyss or WOTA. WOTA is very similar to your hardcore MMORPG. There are no auto battles here and you have to do everything manually, just like back in the day. I think the most exciting aspect of this game is that there is PvP almost everywhere here in game because PK is enabled in most areas. So you might actually run into other players while quietly grinding and end up in a battle. I know you guys are curious whether it is possible to earn here in game or not and the answer is yes here in WOTA, you'll be able to mint your own NFT equipment in-game and sell it on the P2P NFT marketplace. And for the other blockchain aspects and components here in the game, I'll be talking about the tokenomics later in this video. So now guys, let's hop into the game and I'll show you guys my character. I am currently playing a level 20 Berserker, so the reason why I chose this class is because I really like playing some AoE skills and at the same time, he's also very tanky so here we go every time you guys enter the world of the abyss you guys will be entering here into this library so i'm going to show you guys a bit of the gameplay and how you guys can actually strengthen your character here in game there's some level 3 mobs but since we're already level 20 i've been playing the game already for a couple of hours and i have gathered quite a lot of really cool items so i actually have quite a lot of rare items i have plus 11 war self unique i have a plus 3 shield i got some rare fox helm uniques and fox bracers legendary i was very lucky to get these bracers just to show you guys off i'm actually here at the leaderboards right now we have 32k power and we're number three here in the server so we're gonna continue playing so now it's time for me to show you guys off the skills of the berserker so let's start off with our first skill our normal attack uses our axe to deal damage to these young rockers our first skill is an aoe skill into which we jump into our opponent we cause a bit of stun against them our second skill is this is a range attack it's like we're throwing the tip of our axe to deal more damage on top of him i would normally use our second skill as our intro skill against an opponent our third skill is a high damage aoe skill that is like a vacuum so this will be perfect to use against opponents that are clumped up together let's try it out so you guys can see like it's a vacuum. Our fourth skill is an attack speed buff that if we cast will make us attack much 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 faster against our enemies. So guys for our fifth skill this is a lifesteal buff. I also want to show you guys one more thing. You guys can see here there is a bar where you guys can see that if you fill up this bar we will be able to unlock our berserk mode into which we'll be able to deal so much more damage against our enemies. So the oh, we're to maximize our berserk mode it would be a waste to stop right now there you go there you go there you go we're dealing faster crit we're dealing more damage apart from berserker we can also switch to other classes all you have to do is change your weapon so you guys can see currently my weapon is an axe but if we want to switch into an archer we're just gonna equip it and you guys can see that all of a sudden our skills have changed since this is not my main class i won't be able to deal as much damage but let's try anyway so for the archer guys if you prefer a class that can deal a lot of range attacks that is continuous and faster i would recommend this class for you guys but Personally, guys, I really enjoy being a berserker, so let's switch back to our main class. I'm gonna teach you guys how I grind here in the game and how I leveled up very, very fast. One of the areas that I currently like to farm at here for my level is here at the Ancient Lake. So you guys can see, since it is surrounded by a lot of water, a lot of the mobs are more together. What I like to do is deal an AoE attack here. So let's do that. We're gonna deal an AoE attack here. And then we're gonna use our other skills to, of course, deal AoE damage. Just a huge tip, whenever you guys do this, make sure you also maximize a lot of the items here in the game. So if you guys check your inventory, there's quite a lot of cool items that you guys can use. One thing that I personally enjoy using is, of course, this one. So I'm gonna add this to our hot slot. What this does, guys, is that it adds more physical power 
to our character, which is what we need as a berserker. Look at that! Look at that, it's so much faster to farm with this. And with our berserk mode, it's just like, easy. I hope you guys learned a few tips in order to make your character level up faster here in game and gain more XP much faster. And now it's time for us to, of course, explore more of the game. So since the game is an open world game, the grind never stops. You guys can explore a lot of the areas here and just see a lot of places here in the map. Honestly, since I just started playing, there's still so many areas that I have yet to explore. So I'm going to show you guys a lot more of the areas here. So we're at the East Coast. We need to head down a little bit more to get to the Land of the Giants. The reason why we want to try and see if we can get to the Land of the Giants is because we want to see if we can battle it out against the Giants here in game. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these, these are really scary. Oh, these are really scary angry mobs that are poisoning us. Are they gonna kill me? Oh my gosh, they're all chasing me. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Okay, a lot of the mobs are very aggro. <laughs> we died, but the thing that we need to do is, of course, level up here in the game and keep trying so that eventually we'll be able to explore more of the areas here in this open world space of World of the Abyss. And of course, to do that, we need to make ourselves stronger. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to bring you guys to the areas where we can strengthen ourselves. So one of the ways we can actually strengthen ourselves is through, of course, crafting. So guys, here in the crafting area, we can actually unseal the items that we get from monsters that we go against here in the game. They're usually gray, and then we'll be using our various crafting stones in order to, of course, level them up. Just take note, guys, your equipment could be destroyed and forever be gone if it fails. So you guys can see, we're gonna choose one random item here. Here. So we're gonna craft some good shoes by choosing like a gold stone. We're gonna do these and then let's hit that craft. It's a success! But it's still green. So we're gonna try to craft more guys. We're gonna try to get lucky again. Hopefully it turns gold. Okay, there you go. I think we're crafting it. Epic, epic, epic. <gasps> no! I spent all my stones there! We're gonna try this again, but I'm running out of stones, Chad. Wish me luck. Oh no! <gasps> oh gosh! But that is completely fine, guys. It happens in the game. You don't always get lucky. But apart from, of course, crafting, guys, we can also sharpen some of our items. So we can actually sharpen by going into our inventory and using these scrolls. But beware, guys. When we sharpen them, of course, there's also a chance that they can break. So be very careful. So I'm gonna try our bow. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're successful! Let's try one more. Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys! We got really lucky. Is this road to Archer for us? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Make sure you guys sharpen your weapons and equipments here in the game to make yourself stronger. Apart from crafting, apart from, of course, sharpening, there's also skills upgrade. So right now, guys, we need more gold in order to buy the crystals that is needed to, of course, upgrade our skills. But if you guys want to deal more damage using your skills, make sure to just check out our skills improvement and PC so that you guys can improve improve your skills here in game especially for your preferred class there are actually two currencies here in the game there's crystals and of course there are golds that are available here in the game and you guys can obtain gold by usually selling your loot while crystals can be purchased directly from the end game store whereas crystals you guys can get here from the end game store so i'm gonna try to <gasps> wow Okay, that's really lucky. We got some free crystals. So it's now time for us to upgrade our skill. Yay! So let's upgrade our damage using the crystals that we got. Um, cool down. Let's try to upgrade it. And let's go! Thank you so much! This is where you guys can normally get crystals in the game. It's located here in the end game store. And every time you guys play, you guys actually get a lot of free chests that you guys can claim as you play the game and get a lot of rewards. Okay, our party invited us to a boss and hopefully we're gonna survive this. Yeah! Let's go! 
Thank you so much for the carry. Apart from leveling up your character, there's also quite a lot of instances, bosses that you guys can battle it out against, and of course, a lot of adventure that awaits you guys here in the game. So guys, for those who are curious and wondering about the NFT and blockchain components of the game, you guys can actually mint NFT items here in the game that you guys can sell into the marketplace. I really love that as you guys grind here, you guys would get lucky to get some items that you guys can sell into real life currency as well. Well guys, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the world with me. I really think that the game has a lot of potential and I can't wait for more events that will happen in the future. And I'm pretty sure that there will be more exciting stuff happening as we level up further. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing more players here in the future. If you guys want to check it out, you can finally play it on your mobile phones now so you guys can download it on the App Store and of course on the Play Store. I can't wait to see you all in the world of the abyss.